I think the Lord's been here tonight and everything's good for me. Amen. 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 Then go through the valley. Come on. But there's a lily in everybody. Yes. Amen. That's true. I want to talk tonight for a minute about man's anger. Every one of us face anger in our life every now and then. Oh, Amen. Right. A lot of times if we're not careful, it can cause us more harm than good. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And it seems like anymore, it don't take much to make us mad or upset us. Amen. Because we're living in emotional times anyway. Yeah. In this world, I mean. That's right. If something in this world don't make you mad, then I may not be human. I don't know. <laughs> something might always make you mad somewhere down the road. Yeah. But it can lead into a lot more problems. I mean, because if you're mad at people, it can lead to unforgiveness, you know, right. bitterness, hate. Amen. I want to go to Psalms 37 and 8. Be ye angry and sin not. Close. It says, Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Mm. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Now when I read that scripture for me, it says, don't do anything stupid. I take vengeance upon myself. Yeah. Just because I get angry. Right. Yeah. The next scripture, Psalm 37, 37 and 9, says, For evildoers shall be cut off, mm. but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Amen. God hates to see us angry yes. at anybody or anything, and we will leave it in His hands. All right. Come on. He will reward us. Right. Amen. But we got to learn to put it in His hands, not all. Amen. 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 That's the truth. That's the truth. So thank God Rodney is the boss, even though sometimes I think I am. But <laughs> Come it on. It don't take long to get my attention. Yeah. Amen. Uh, thank, thank Proverbs 16.32. You can go there if you want. Thanks a lot. Find it, say amen. If you don't find it, say amen. Anyway. Amen. amen. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. If we let God deal with our own anger, our anger, instead of taking it upon ourselves, then our anger will become less and less and ever since we're right. down the road. Come on. Amen. So we... It may not happen right away. A lot, of, a lot of things the Lord wants to yeah. make you work for what you get. That's right. Yeah. Man. Come on. Because you have to build up your faith. I think Reese was testifying. I want to go about it. Right. The Lord wants us to, to learn. He's not trying to be cruel to us. He wants us to learn. Amen. And until we learn, we're never going to quit going through some of the stuff we go through. Amen. Absolutely. James 1, 19 and 20 says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. The wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Yeah. It doesn't get any plainer than this, does it? Come on. Amen. The wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Come on. Amen. The Lord does not send anything our way to see how mad we can get. Yes. Come on. He sends trials our way to teach us to have faith and love, not hate. Oh, Amen. Right. I've personally been going through one of the toughest things in my life. I don't understand some of it, but I've been angry and mad. Yeah. And like I said, some things are going to make you that way. And sometimes I've been confused. Come on. Yeah. The one thing I know when I've been going through this is God is not allowing this to happen to destroy me. Yeah. But to make me stronger in faith, hope, and love. Amen. Amen. And I'm never alone. We're never alone. Right. I don't care how alone yeah. you feel, you're never alone because, you know. He said he'd never leave us to forsake us. He's the cause of right. brother, and he'd go all the way to the end with us. Amen. Amen. To me, that lets me know we're not alone. That's home. right, brother. Amen. There's one thing I've learned in life, like we all have, that people will let you down. Yes. Yeah. We're human. Right. Even if it's by mistake, people let you down. Amen. That's but God right. will never let you down. That's okay. right. He loves us unconditionally. Amen. Amen. No matter what. Yeah. That's the kind of love he wants us to have. Come on. Yeah. 
But oh, we how tough is that? Yeah. Because God loves us unconditionally. Can you love anybody unconditionally? Come on. No matter what they do to you, what they do to me. That's yeah. tough, Brother David. Yes, it yeah. is. And what amazes me more about the unconditional love Jesus had was when he was being crucified. Right. And then in Luke 23, 34, when he said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they do. Yeah. And they parted his raiment and cast yes. lots, and he still loved people. Right. Amen. What kind of love would what kind of world would we live in if we all had that kind of love? Yeah. Come on. Amen. But unfortunately, there's an evil one of a tank that rules some of the world. Yeah. Spirit. Amen. Jesus had every reason to be mad and upset. But even facing men that crucifixion, his love spoke volumes. Yeah. If we can all turn our anger into love, what a difference it would make. Yeah. Not in all our lives, but everybody's lives. Amen. Amen. Like I said, if we had that love, instead of all the hate, things would be so much better. Right. Because hate destroys. Yes. Yeah. Hate kills. Come on. And the next time anybody or anything makes you mad, yes. ask the Lord to turn that anger into love. Come on. Amen. And here lately I found myself doing that a lot. Right. And the reason I like to do it is because I know sooner or later you're going to turn that into love. Right. Lord, come on. That's right. God is love. God Amen. is love. Yes. The Bible speaks, you know, what is greater than it love the greatest charity. Right. Yeah. That's, that's what we need to have. Yeah. Even if people make us mad and you don't understand right. what good is it going to do me if I get mad at Brother Dave for something that he didn't really do to make me mad. What's it what good is it going to do me? <laughs> it's going to hurt me, not him. All right. right. Come on. Get that root of bitterness going to hurt me worse than that. Oh. And that's what the Lord doesn't want. He wants us to overcome that stuff. Yes. And just love. Amen. I know we're short, but 